Detroit superstar Darren Crookshank here. Um, I fight professionally. I had 13 fights in the UFC. I was on Bully Beatdown MTV. Uh, I was on The Ultimate Fighter season 15, the live season. I fought all around the world and I recently just got into uh, the shooting sports and I found my way to Las Vegas gunfights. I saw uh, the first fight on Facebook and I was hooked right away. I said I wanted to do this and I can't wait uh, for my opportunity. As a professional fighter, I feel pretty confident in hand-to-hand -hand combat, um, but when it comes to on the street, a guy could have a gun. And I feel like I need to up my training. You can go to the range, you can shoot paper, you can shoot targets, you can compete uh, in three gun and, and just sports just like that, but nothing is like actually shooting another person. This is the closest it can come to the real thing. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we don't ever have to use those skills. But if we do, and you do, and you train here, you're going to be better off. You're doing this a lot. When you, st you start reverting to the sights, when you feel like your accuracy is not happening, so you're like, focus on a tool, focus on a tool, instead of just reaching for that target. What happens there when you start, when you weren't hitting, you start reaching yeah, for I it? I posted it straight out, and I was like, oh, look at this. Yeah. It's just a natural thing, just, just like you're trying to touch it. Right. And slow it down because placement's more important than volume. As far as the similarities to, uh, from mixed martial arts to what we're doing here at Las Vegas Gunfights, uh, whatever you have uh, that we're doing in fights, it's just an extension of your hand. So my hand coming out, posting out, is just like me having my hands up. Right, it, it's the reaction time that happens. Uh, you know, if you see something, you see opportunity to punch this guy in the face, and you think about it too too long, then you lose that opportunity. It's like a shooting star. Th same thing here. If you take too long, you see a guy pop his head out, and you take too long and think about your sights and put everything up, and boom, he's gone. Right? You have to have the reaction. You have to build that muscle memory, um, and the way you do that is uh, with pressure. If you do it and in an environment where there's no pressure, then you don't actually learn anything. My philosophy on uh, fighting, right, to get ready for a fight, you have to fight. You have to fight in the gym, you have to fight with your teammates, uh, you have to battle. Yeah, you're not trying to uh, knock them out or follow them down and crack them or hurt them, but you really have to put the pressure on uh, to get ready for a fight. This here, at Las Vegas Gunfights, is the exact same way. If you have a philosophy on something, um, and you've been training it and training it, but you never really get to test that philosophy. Here, you get to test it out, you know, with your opponent, your teammate, whatever. Um, see what works and what doesn't. See uh, how you're going to react under pressure. Is that uh, whatever philosophy you have, is that gonna work when somebody else is shooting at you and your gun jams and you gotta run and hide or use cover? You know, this is, this is really a great proving ground. I'm excited to be part of the Infidels. And for all you gunfighter trainers out there, I can't wait to fuck you up. <laughs>